Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this demo, we are going to see how we can chat with our own data using Azure OpenAI models inside Azure OpenAI Studio. And in this demo, we are going to upload a couple of PDF files then we are going to see that how OpenAI Studio is creating resources for us and where it is going to upload that document and how it is creating Azure AI search and indexes and then we are going to ask some question based on that PDF and then see that how these models are responding and it is going to use that document for that response or not. And this is typically RAG pattern where these models are going to understand what is our intent from that question and then it is going to figure it out what search it has to run based on Azure AI search and then bring the result and then use that result for grounding purpose to whatever response it is going to generate. So this is what we are going to see in this demo. So let's go in Azure portal and let's start uploading this document. And in this demo, because we have already created that Azure OpenAI models in previous video, if you have not seen, you can go and see that previous video. So for this demo, we are inside Azure portal. In the previous demo, we created this resource group in this OpenAI resource where we have deployed models. So I'm going inside Azure OpenAI Studio. And also, we are going to leverage two files which we have downloaded. One is called Employee Handbook, and this is Fixius company, which is used for a lot of demos. So this company, Employee Handbook, is there. That company name is Contoso Electronics. And then we have health benefit plans and other things for that same company. So we are going to upload these two, and we are going to ask some questions based on that one. And when we are going to use our bring your own data, we will see what other resources it creates. So let's go inside this section and it is going to provide an options to select data source. If we have already set up in process, then you can use that one. But right now for this demo, I'm going to use upload files so that we can see what other resources is going to create. And then later you can understand that how you can select AI resources and other things in next videos. So for this, right now it is saying that there is no AI source because I have deleted so that I can share with you. And we have a lot of blob resources, but I'm going to create a new for this demo. I'm going to select my resource group name, and then I'm going to give the name. And it will be in East US because we have that our open AI resource into that place. So, and now, we are going to select that what primary service. In this case, we are going to select Azure Blob Storage because we are going to use that service, not the files in tables or queues. Primary workload we can leave because it might be that mostly big data analytics, but right now we do not have to specify that is optional services. And we don't need performance uh, mode for this demo. So we are not going for premium and no, neither we need Redundancy. So we are going for LRS so that we can save some cost. In REST, let's keep as a default. Let's go back. And let's create. Till the time blob is being created, let's create Azure AI search resource. And for this search resource, we cannot use free tier. So we have to use either basic or standard. And just uh, once you are done with your demo and try out, just try to delete that one because it is going to charge. So let's see that one. Right now we are um, selected by default as tender. I'm going to select the basic one so that it will be reducing the cost. But after the de demo, we are going to delete this one. So now let's review and create. 
So also Nazuri AI search has been created. So let's go to resource and now we can see that there is no indexes inside that one. There is no indexer, there is no data source. And also our blob has been created. So let's go and now select all this. Let's refresh this one. And inside our open AI, let's refresh that RG where we have two more resources now created. So I'm going to select that blob storage soft with AI demo and then it is going to ask for permission and course enables and other things. I am going to assign that permission. It is going to allow that permission into course for star for better security manual configure that one if you are doing that one because you must provide only whatever open if you see allowed origin is star. Uh, you can provide that what origin only you want for demo it is okay now let's go and select our azure ai search and this is one so now it is going to ask for index name so whatever index name it is going to create so i'm going to say bring your own data index after this one Right now, this option is great vector search for this search resource. It is going to use semantic and other things. We will see how to do vector one later. Now it is going to ask for your file. So let's browse our files, which we wanted to do that. I'm going to click and upload and this file is going to upload into our blob storage and that's what we can verify that by going inside our blob and we can see that containers let's go to containers and now if you see that is the name which we give in for our index and file upload so if we go there is pdf upload right and now once we go to next, it is going to say, hey, which type of search you want it to select, right? So search type is either semantic or either keyword search. So we wanted to use semantic because it gets, gives a better result, but it is going to charge. And if you, have, you are using an existing, that semantic anchor feature is enabled or selected, whatever uh, plan you have selected. So let's go ahead and see that one. And it is chunk size that how much Something it is you going to use for that document. We will see that right now it is going to do for us. Later we can see that how we can do if we are going to do by our own by writing something without UI. So we will see in next videos and other things. So let's go and do that one. So in this section, if we see that it is going to ask about uh, which type of connection we are going to use for doing all the activity and we should be if we are going for production and other things we must use managed identity but configuring managed identity in this demo can take a little bit more time because we have to go and assign all these permissions using managed identity so i'm going to use api key for now and let's let me save and close right so now it is going to use ingestion and it is going to create indexes and other things which is required. The search service, we should be able to see some index, right? So this is index, but right now data size is zero. So right now, if we see this one, that says that, okay, it is done. <laughs> but let's see that index. So now we can see that there are six document count and uh, there are storages. So it created mean chunking and we can see that vector index size is not enabled. And it did not create any data source it did only for one time so let's go and ask some question based on this one right so let's see that can you please tell me about also company let's see that one Right, so this is going to figure it out with Contoso with uh, where it is grounding, right? 
to go more in details that what is the reference we can see that this reference is from that handbook right part one and part two that means that chunking has been done and it is referencing we can ask another question also can you tell me what are help plan provided for company right So we can see that there are two plants is coming and if we go and see that one this is the two plants are there right so that that result is coming and it is reference we can see that the document which we have given the reference right so if we see that one this is the document is referenced and it is uploaded into our system so now we can ask that one does whatever question we want to ask right does not wind standard at vision pickup now we can see that this is grounding and using the data which we uploaded right and that is what i wanted to show you in this demo and in next demo we are going to deploy this site and we will see that how it is going to look like in terms of code and other things so we can go and see that code also from this angle that uh, what it is trying to do in c sharp and other things so that all this is there and uh, which api it is using and other details we can figure out out so this is what i wanted to say in this demo i hope you will like this demo and if you do please provide comment and share with other people i hope you have like this demo and if you have liked this demo please like share and put some comment and also share this video's tutorial with your friends and colleagues so that we can reach to more people thank you